I have entered the most alien, terrifying and frightening environment possible for a sailor to be in. I'm in a canal. Right, come and help me because I've got to get my back into this. <laughs> This is the entrance to the Crinning Canal and um, this is the basin in front of the entrance where we're currently tied up in the middle of a thunderstorm. And we've just had the most almighty crack of thunder and flash of lightning. And to be honest, it's a bit closer than I like. But I don't really have any way of moving it on so I'm just going to have to put up with it. After the rain was over, we entered the first lock of the canal, but we were not alone. Although there was a harbour in Mooring Field outside Crinan, the marina appears to be in the canal system. How they manage that with fresh water and salt water needing different anodes, I never did find out. And how's it going so far? I hate it. There's no sea room in here at all. I mean, the clearances are measured in centimetres. Uh, um, What's your depth reading then? Less than a metre. <laughs> um, under the keel. Um, but there's no room to move. Everything's tiny. I mean, the pontoon they give you for two boats wouldn't fit one. Um, it's just scary. And there's trees and ferns and all sorts of things sticking out. I mean, it's not meant to be like this. I have entered the most alien, terrifying and frightening environment possible for a sailor to be in. I'm in a canal. <laughs> and it's not good. There's milk in here, but... Oh, look at that. 0.8 metres. That's good. It was 0.7 earlier. Was it? Okay, yeah. fair enough. It's 0.7 oh, seven now. now. Yay! This is scary stuff. speeding up just so that we can uh, overtake to keep up with pedestrians yeah just so that we can overtake pedestrians yeah it's a matter of pride <laughs> yeah exactly it's a matter of pride can we overtake two pedestrians do you know how unnatural it is to have one of these and somewhere this skinny yeah. oh god it's terrifying yeah i think we've just about overtaken this them Bev, <laughs> but we have taken Oh, up later. absolutely. As soon as we get to the locks, you'll easily overtake us. Uh, they take 20 minutes each. You did an excellent job at helping us through those locks. Thank okay, you. thank you. <sighs> well, Beverly and I are at the top of um, Crinning Canal, and we had hoped to um, video it for you. But I can tell you now, we were so busy sorting out lines, getting lines, um, and all that sort of stuff. And there was only me and Bev on the on Salty Lass, so it was a real case of do this, do that, do the other. So lots and lots of things to do. But I've been told that going down is a little bit easier because. Um, uh, you don't have the pressure of water 
So if it is easier, we will try and video that for you. But honest to goodness, I was so busy today, there was no video in happening. <sighs> so this is uh, one of the fun and games we're going to have to go through tomorrow. So we've got a bridge, which clearly looks like a swing bridge. Just after the bridge, you have a lock. Swing bridge. Yeah, you've got a swing bridge and then you've got a lock. So one or two things just to keep you occupied with. But the main reason we are here is just down there. It's the pub. Is the pub. Well, if you're going to go to the pub, uh, which is really a hotel, um, you need to book the uh, restaurant and not think like we did that to come on spec uh, well, to be fair, we thought it was a pub. We did think it was a pub, but it's a it's a hotel. It's not a pub at all. But uh, anyway, so uh, rather than um, uh, having um, a meal out, we're going to have some meal on salty lass. And I suspect it's going to be absolutely super tasty. Don't know about that, it's going to be pasta. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be super tasty, but honest to goodness, we've only done the up locks and we're both shattered oh. so there you have it um, the pasta served with some chorizo um, garlic slice and of pasta course and onion, onions. Not onions, mushrooms. as far as I'm concerned after a day like this a huge glass of wine <laughs> but I have to say that looks pretty good pretty dang spiffy Absolutely, Gil. We stopped for the night in the highest part of the canal. It would be all downhill from here. Literally. The boat is covered in dead midges. We had used tea tree oil to repel them and inside we were midgy free. The first job of the day was to prepare the next lock. Well, there's Salty Lass, and Bev's going to get her sorted. While she's getting Salty Lass sorted, I'm getting the lock sorted. So, the sluice is to the top, and as you can see, the water is merrily coming through. Right, come and help me, because I've got to get my back into this. <laughs> I've basically got to try <laughs> Shift the gate. Oh, oh, is it moving? <sighs> Come on, you need to put more effort in. <laughs> you need to help me because I can't do it on my own. Oh, no. <sighs> if one lock fails, go and try the other one. And, uh, oh, clearly this one's all right because <laughs> it's actually moving. But, uh, you really do need to get your back into it and if you're a girl like us uh, you've always got to remember that your legs are as strong as men's your arms might be as weak as anything but your legs are as strong as men's so make sure you're doing all the weight and the lifting with your legs which is why my back's to it and I'm moving my legs so that's the lock all prepped uh, what I've got to do now is wait for Beverly. Uh, she will be um, sending, passing me the lines. I will be putting them on um, these various um, pins is the best word I can describe them as them. How have you got your lines ready uh, for this lock? I've got a throwing line here which will go onto the lock and a bowline which will go with these little pin things that they use. And I've run it on a smaller line all the way back to my rear winch. And the idea is that I can control the forward line running it behind the cleats from the cockpit and I can control the back of the boat from the cockpit anyway. So the rear line I simply just pull myself. The fore line I have on the winch handle and occasionally I just winch it in. Today's a bit of an awkward one, I have to let it go out. But it's on the winch and I can jam it in so I can do that. I can let them both run through the winch and through the fair lead at the back. Yeah, because uh, when we were coming up, you need to pull it in, whereas... And the winch was really good for that, because all I did was 
I would walk forward, give it half a dozen turns on the winch, walk back, pull the back, back in, clean it off, walk forward, half a dozen turns on the winch. Yeah, so you're dealing everything, but now, um, because we're going down, you've got to let things off, haven't you, Bev? Right, so what I'll do now is I'll take the line back once we get into the lock, and then all I simply do is I just unlock it from the winch, let it, let it bit out, lock it back in the winch, then go to the cleat at the back. Yeah, so that's the plan. Uh, let's try and do it in reality, shall we? Can I also suggest to the lock keeper... Okay. He's currently holding the camera that she does not go for the record emptying speed of the lock and takes it nice and gently. Okay, it's only because I put one, I, I filled the lock up really fast and... And Salty Lass bounced around inside like a ping pong ball in a shoe box. Yeah, but because we're going down, it shouldn't be as much of a problem, but... No excuses, just do it right. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the only reason she can do what she's doing at the moment is there's absolutely no wind. Uh, and also, um, there's, um, as well as no wind, although clearly there is a little bit of wind. <laughs> uh, anyway, I best, uh, anyway, there's hardly any wind. And, uh, but I'm going to have to go going because I've got loads to do. Yeah, so Beverly's on the lines. As you can see, she's got one line forehead that she's uh, controlling on the winch and one line at the back, which she's got. So the one on the winch is down here. It's got a um, oh, double bowl in there so that that's sorted. And then that's going forward to that one over there. So that's coming all the way back and Bev's up there it's just so that uh, she can control the lines as we go down this lock as we approach the manned lock a motor launch zipped past us and then moored up on the port side. As the staff had no marine radios, we had to shout as we approached. We're set for Port Mary! We're not set for starboard! We're not set! There followed a hectic session of setting our extra ropes and fenders because we had nothing on the starboard side.
Throw it. Luckily for us, once we had lines, fenders and lock staff sorted out, it went smoothly and we were on the final stretch to the basin at the sea lock. I'm never doing a canal in the rest of my life ever again. Oh, we can see the sea, Bev! No, I don't think so. But yeah, we can see the sea. said it's a very welcome sight as far as Bev and I are concerned. And look, there's the sea. <laughs>